So do you have a favorite bagel? And do you know how they are made? It's not an easy job. Well, tonight it is Joe's job as he takes us from rising yeast to golden brown bagel. Did you get it at 4 a.m. to start it, Joe? No, I didn't, but uh, George uh, Stenopoulos uh, sure does. Yeah. And Stepanovich, I should say. <laughs> Stepanopoulos. Wow. Yeah, whatever, George whatever. Stepanopoulos, you said. But we're doing something different tonight. We want them to sample the goods now, and then you can have plenty of time to chew on it, and we can talk about it oh, okay. after Love the story. It. So Go dive ahead. in, ladies, okay. and take a look. Uh, you'll see the bagels that I made, sort of. And put it where? Right on the table. Wow. I was training with George Stepanovich, a hard-working young bagel baker who calls himself an old soul. And the harder he made me work, the older I was feeling. What do you think this whole mass weighs? A lot. You ever been asked that? No. Okay. I never weighed it. This whole process starts with malt and water and flour, sugar and salt, and three ounces of yeast. 50 pounds of dough from just three ounces of yeast. After it's all mixed up for about 10 minutes, it's sliced into long sections and then taken to the dough mixer machine. What an invention. It spits out the bagels, and you have to put them on the trays. Like this. Yep. It all came back to me. Keeping up with this machine, pulling the bagels offline, reminded me of another Joe's job. O'Connor Brewing Company and the clip we used from that I Love Lucy episode. Here I am again. Jeesh. Bagel making is labor intensive, and I was learning George wouldn't have it any other way. It is. But, I mean, you want to do something right? What well, isn't a lot of work? They just keep feeding the machine, and it just keeps churning out bagels. As George said, there are no such things as bagel holes. The machine spits out dough logs and wraps them up. Keep going. You're pretty good at this, Joe. Thank you. You want a weekend job? <laughs> now our next step was boiling the bagels. See, they get boiled briefly. And George told me it only takes about half a minute for these bagels to boil. Right, George? That's it. Throw them in. Throw them in. Don't splash yourself. This is the step that gives bagels a special texture. I asked George if you could skip the boiling step and just bake these bagels in the oven. You could bake them in, in rack ovens, but it's not going to have the firmness to it where the outside of the bagel is nice and firm with a little crunch to it and still real soft on the inside and I had to prepare them for the carousel oven. And spread them out. This oven was built in 1950. George had to dismantle the whole thing in Richmond and reassemble it here in his store in this Great Neck Road shopping center. Mind boggling. In they go for cycle one at 400 degrees, the old fashioned way in an old fashioned oven. How's that looking? And to think George comes in here at 4 a.m. to start the process all over again. And he loves it that way. Every day, eight days a week, day in, day out. Wow. It's tired. George's helpers are Mike and LaFonda, and his mother lends a hand, too. Sprinkle onion and garlic and sesame, and these everything bagels are done. So am I. So how would I do making bagels? We are ready for you to come on staff. I think you could start tomorrow at 5 a.m. All right, George, thanks so much. George told me on Saturdays and Sundays when I get up to come in 4 a.m. to anchor the weekend news, he's already in there cranking out more bagels. Okay, ladies, <clears throat> I think I have a bagel crumb in my throat. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think? These, These are good. Really, really good. Mm. Cinnamon raisin. Yeah. My favorite. Good. Onions. Mm -hmm. Onions, I like onions. <laughs> and I can't <laughs> comment. I have a grain in my throat. Too many bagels. That's all right. We'll take a good job. Here. Thanks, Joe.